Stop. Stop. My baby, my baby. She's fine. I said step out of the vehicle. Let me get a move. Get in. Bad, 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 bad. This is going to be what? Stop. 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 I have a gun. I'll shoot you. Why? Let me see your f***ing. Get the f*** down. Get the f*** down. He fell out the car. How he fell out my car. Una parte muy importante de la buena actuación policial consiste en proteger a las personas de individuos peligrosos. Muchos de estos casos comienzan desgarradoramente en el hogar cuando la policía interviene para proteger a las víctimas jóvenes. Esto es lo que sucede cuando la policía rescata a los niños de padres malvados. Olvida recoger a un niño. Nuestro primer caso comienza el 21 de marzo de 2024. Se pidió a la policía que investigara una madre que no había recogido a sus hijos de la escuela. Suponiendo que se había olvidado por completo de ellos, la escuela primaria le dio a la policía la información que necesitaba y llegaron a la casa para encontrar a una mujer ebria. Cuando la escuela primaria llamó inicialmente a la madre, podían escuchar música fuerte y ella arrastraba las palabras, por lo que la policía no se sorprendió al ver que efectivamente estaba bajo la influencia de alcohol o drogas. Esto es lo que sucede cuando la confrontan con su comportamiento después de visitar la escuela por primera vez. I'll just get your information real quick, and then we've already contacted DHS, so they're going to be. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. There she is, my Miss Hellinger. There's that relationship. Mm -hmm. Hey, I want to introduce you to somebody. This is Officer. Whoop, hang on right here. Hey, buddy. This is Officer. Hi. Hi. How are you gonna doing? Take you to be with Sawyer. Mama's not feeling very good, so he's getting Mama checked out. Okay. Okay. But he's gonna take you to hang out with Sawyer for a little okay. while. Okay. You wanna ride in my car? Oh, that's fancy. No. You, get to ride you don't wanna ride car. in it. No. What do you mean? I like that shirt. Wait, why do I? Why well, do you what? Gonna take you to why Sawyer. do? Yeah, I'm going to take you over to see Sawyer, because your mom's not feeling too good, so we had to get her checked out, ¿ok? okay. Right, Después de recoger a los niños de la escuela primaria y hablar con el personal, la policía llega a la propiedad. La madre parece no tener remordimiento por lo que ha hecho y está actuando de manera increíblemente extraña. Después de intentar irse, los agentes deciden que ya han visto lo suficiente y la detienen. ¿Qué tipo de perro tienes? Un gran barco. ¿Dónde está tu perro? Hey Joy. <laughs> Hi there. Hey, you're Everything, okay? Everything, everything's okay. You're okay. Do you have a son named Jackson or Colton? Yeah. Do you have a son named I do. Okay. Is someone supposed to pick him up from school today? Okay, who's supposed to pick She him up from school? She doesn't know time right now. Okay. She doesn't know time. Okay. Do you know what time it is? So who's supposed to pick your kid up? Are you serious? I'm dead yeah. serious. They're calling us. Okay. It's 441. Of course they're Okay. How much have you had to drink today? No. Nothing. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Okay, even though I can smell it on you. Is there another adult here in this house? Are you kidding me? Ma'am, I wouldn't be asking these questions if I was kidding. I've been here before for this exact same issue. No. Yes, I have. And no. Okay. I have not returned. Oh, no, 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 no. You're not getting the car until we do some field sobriety tests, okay? Around. No. Alright. You guys are stop. Doing this 
stop. 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 You're intoxicated, you're in control of the child, and there's nobody else here. Okay, stop. Hey, listen. Stop. Sit down. Just sit down in the chair. Sit down in the chair. Sit down in the chair. Give me your hand. Give me your other hand now. I can't. Yep. Don't pull away from me. You'll be in a lot of trouble. Stop. Hand behind your back right now. Get your other hand behind your back right now. Put your hand behind your back right now. Put your hand behind your back right now. Put your hand behind your back right now. Do it now. You're not listening to what I'm telling you to do. It's 441. Los agentes llevan a la mujer al coche donde la entrevistan más a fondo. Le advierten que irá a la cárcel, pero sigue negando su estado de ebriedad. So here's the deal, okay? Do you have family members nearby? No. Okay. No family at all. No. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. Well, DHS is on the way out here. Right. Okay. They're gonna talk to you briefly. Okay. Okay, and then. Uh, Likely, you're probably going to go to jail for child neglect with me today. Okay? Depending on... Why? Because uh, your current condition... Uh, What's wrong with my condition? You're intoxicated. I am not! Okay. That, you can say that all you want, but... I am not intoxicated! Okay. No. My car reeks of alcohol and you're inside my car. Uh, absolutely not! I can blow. Okay. 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 I'll blow. You, you want to blow? Okay. No. No, stay seated. Stay seated. He'll come bring it to you. Don't. Don't, mm -mm. don't what? Get me out of these handcuffs. You. No, you tried to get in your car earlier and drive off and that's not, a, no, we can't do that. And then instead what? of listening to me, you tried to get away from me and that's not okay. No, you're being. Very offensive. Okay. Yeah, you're being offensive. Okay. Don't be a jerk. I'm not trying to be offensive and I'm not trying to be a jerk. I'm just giving you the facts, ma'am. Everything no, that I've ever you're not. Okay. My child was at school 11 minutes later. No, okay. I'm not gonna blow. I'm not gonna blow now. Imagine. No. You know, okay. See, I thought you were intoxicated. This will show if you're intoxicated. No! What do you guys think you're doing? Taking you to jail. Yeah. Child neglect. That's what we're doing. Are you kidding me? I'm, I'm dead serious. Or being out. I mean, he was at school 11 minutes later. 11 minutes. What's wrong with you, people? You didn't even... You didn't even know what time it was. La mujer fue acusada de negligencia y condenada a dos años de libertad condicional. En este caso no se pensó en lo absoluto en la seguridad del niño, lo que es evidente en el siguiente incidente. Moviéndose libremente en el asiento trasero. Nuestro próximo caso comienza el 28 de septiembre de 2021. La policía estaba en una patrulla estándar cuando se vieron obligados a realizar una parada de tráfico. Notaron a un niño pequeño en la parte trasera de un coche moviéndose libremente. El niño no tenía ningún tipo de sujeción, lo que significa que podría correr un grave peligro si el coche se detuviera de repente o sufriera una colisión. La policía comprobó que el vehículo cumplía con las normas y detuvo al conductor, pero la madre y la abuela no se lo tomaron en serio sus preocupaciones y ni siquiera llevaban dispositivos de Retención. De hecho, el niño más pequeño ni siquiera estaba en un asiento elevador. How you doing? Do you have driver's yeah. license on you? Why is no one buckled up in this car? I better put on y'all seat, but y'all already That's know the reason why we pulled you over. Yeah, this little kid was bouncing around in the back. <laughs> Who's mom? Me. Oh, talking about him? Yeah. Oh, that's that's her baby. Do you not see him just sit? Are, are we careless that we don't care that he's? Oh, I tell is this our uh, teacher doing something? We just find out. Yeah, I tell him. Right, what about mom for this child? Oh, that's for this child. Mom for both children. How old are you? He's autistic. He's eleven. Eleven. And how old is he? 
three. He should actually be in a booster seat. Are you guys headed? Where are you guys headed? To uh, Mr. Willie's shop. Where? Right where's here. the booster seat at? Do you have your ID on you, ma'am? How do you spell your first name? Um, ma'am, how do you spell your first Hold name? Hold on, you don't have to holler at me, sir. Se le ha pedido a la mujer que salga del coche pero se niega a escuchar. La policía va a tomar medidas enérgicas y detener al sospechoso pero ella no se rendirá sin luchar. Ma'am, step out of the vehicle now. I said step out of the vehicle. All right, you step it out, willingly or not. You can give it ID, you still stepping out of the car, ma'am. Step to the vehicle now. Can you step out of the car? No, but I'm not going to. Joe's going to lock me up for a second. Nobody said you're getting locked up. Okay, well, you don't have to tell me because I ain't got no gun. So don't tell me. I'm going to put my hand right. Do not touch me. Ain't nobody doing this to y'all. Put your purse away from you. Put your purse down. Ma'am, stop walking away from her. Hold on, hold on. Why am I doing this? I don't know who you think you are, man. I don't know who you are. 65 to start some additional units. Man, step away. Step in front of the car. Step, stay there. Close the door. Get in this. Step to the front of the car. Step to the front of the car. What I'm doing? What I'm doing? Yeah. Come on, man. Step to the front of the car. Get in there. 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 Get las cosas se han complicado especialmente porque la abuela tiene una orden judicial y la policía quiere poner todo en perspectiva para la madre. La seguridad de los niños tiene que ser lo primero, ya que ambas mujeres están detenidas. Greg, listen real quick to me. Hold on. Listen, listen to me about your kids. Listen, your mom might have a warrant. So she's saying she knows you and the kids. Do you want to let your kids? If you don't, don't. Sure? My mama just came and got me yet. You're just being detained. That's what she said. I don't know. She just told me that you gotta be detained. But she's not being arrested. She has a possible warrant. So I don't know. They give they lock me up because I, I, I'm just speaking the truth. Come on now. So my family wanna know what they're talking to. I said I stay right in the corner. You just gonna take your cards right there. We'll find out if they say they won't take it. Um, so if they say they're going to take you, then you have to go. But more than likely, they'll say they won't, and you'll okay, be cut loose. I, I okay. have a paper for my driver's license because right. I, I did a defensive class. But I right now, they show you that you have an active warrant for not coming to court. We was this. I don't know. But it's out of spot. Yeah, I've, I've cleared everything on okay. that. Okay. Okay. Go to East. Go to East. La madre fue acusada de obstruir la aplicación de la ley y la abuela recibió algunas multas de tráfico y fue arrestada por su orden judicial existente. El uso peligroso del vehículo fue crucial en este caso, como en el siguiente. Tempest Isom nuestro próximo caso comienza el 2 de marzo de 2023. Los oficiales que patrullaban vieron a la sospechosa Tempest Aison conduciendo con su hijo de 5 años en el asiento trasero. Aison había sido buscada anteriormente por múltiples infracciones de tránsito anteriores, por lo que la policía estaba ansiosa por hablar con ella y posiblemente detenerla. Sin embargo, cuando los oficiales se acercaron al auto, Aison chocó contra una de las piernas y luego se alejó intentando escapar a toda costa. Lo que siguió fue una persecución intensa, pero breve. Miren lo que sucede cuando la policía finalmente la alcanza. He hit my car. I called the police station. The guy told me to bring him to 225. He hit my car. He been hitting it with four ways and everything. I just need my car. I'm I'm signed into this car. Who is it? Who is he? That's my ex-boyfriend. That's my ex-boyfriend. Were you downtown? Mhm. Mm on Lafayette? I don't know the name. And Warren? Is that where it started? Um no, it started on Spring Street. Look this way for me. Look this way. Yeah, you were on Lafayette. Mm -hmm. Cause your earring's still over there. My earring? Yeah. 262 dispatch. This is gonna be what? Stop! 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 Oh, oh shit. We're passing Regal. There's a child in the back seat. She's running. She's running. Stand by. Stand by. Stand by. Let me see your hands! I have a gun, I'll shoot you! Why? Let me see your hands! Get the f down! Get the f down! Get the f down! Oh, you down, you down. You hear me? I'm down. In your car. I'm scared. One, 
detained, dispatch. One detained. I'm just scared. It's going to be across of 548 North Clinton Avenue. Stay with the baby. Stay with the baby. Is she under arrest? Yes, yes. All right, we got the baby. Huff, don't let go of the baby. Don't let go of the baby. Huh? Don't let go of the baby. Just put him in the car. Put him in the car. Yeah, just the car. Listen, I ain't the one. So whatever tricks you trying to pull right now, it ain't going to fucking work. Do you understand me? Yes. All right. All that taking off running shit, I swear to God. You're done. I was just scared. I was just scared, ma'am. What's your first and last name? Timothy Isom. I can't breathe back here. Because you were running. Because you were running. No, it's not just that. Ma'am. Ma'am. What's your first and last name? You hear me? I S O M. I need your last name first. That is it. What is it? I S. I S. Relax. O. o. M as in Mary. Can I please? Oh, what? M as in Mary. Uh huh. My first name is Tempest. T E M. Uh huh. P E S. P E S. T T. T T. Yes. Ma'am. Listen to me. What's your date of birth? Me at the second one. But ma'am, I was just scared. They tried to jump me, and I called the, I called the, two, the police two, two, station. There's gonna be one insane with the unknown trouble five. downtown. I cannot believe you did all that. With three, 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 what are you moving for? I'm just trying to talk to you. Stop. I'm not a threat. I know I did something stupid, but I'm not. How afraid. old is your kid? He's three. If you, wherever you get him, sir. La policía se reúne y habla sobre la seguridad del niño. Mientras tanto, en el vehículo policial, Tempest se queja y pone excusas. Sugiere que arriesgó la vida de su hijo solo porque tenía miedo. Where was the baby in the vehicle? When we pulled up, he was climbing out of the front seat. Like they went around to go get her, and we were right behind him. We pulled up, and he was literally four seconds before he was coming to a one male under arrest. So he was not strapped in or anything? I don't know. We weren't on the stop. We came from headquarters and they asked for help. As we were coming, I guess the car came from them. And they said she crashed. We pulled up. They went around the car. We were going to follow them, but they did fall out of the driver's seat. But when you, when you found him, he was not strapped in or anything? He okay. Does he, does he seem like he has any injuries? Uh, I have Tim's coming to check him out just because he wasn't. No, of course. Person. But I'm just saying nothing, nothing obvious. No, he's okay. Just, he's not speaking. Okay. Okay. And right now, you're under arrest, so you know what? All that bullshit you're telling me right now? Like I said. It's bullshit. I'm a grown Okay, because you ran off. First off, scared. you took off on us, put us in a I pursuit. Okay? I'm you crashed right. with all this with your child in the car. I'm not saying it was right. I'm telling you, I'm scared. So you put your son's life at risk. You know what it is? I will tell you, but just like you said... I messed up and I don't want you to try to use it against me. No, I'm you only, don't you listen, you messed up on your own. I know what I'm all did. by yourself. Listen, okay. I'm not saying that I'm perfect. I'm just telling you some real stuff, ma'am. Two six two dispatch. You can print her out. Ma'am, I'm, I'm telling you some real notes. stuff. This is what happened. What are the they course. doing? See what they're doing. This Garcia. is what happened in the course of my night. Don't gotta threaten me because I didn't I threaten you. you. I didn't threaten you. Can, wait, wait one second. Can I just pull my pants up real quick? Sure. God damn. It's like as soon as you get a whiff of somebody, you just that's just how you feel. No, about no, no. Them. You won't, you know what you did wrong. You, I didn't say that I didn't. I'm not playing the game with you. Play the game while you I'm want. not playing the game with you. I would never do that. It was wrong and I was scared. But I feel like you would all be scared. And then your partner came up and you seen the stuff that you said and that he said he wanted to so that you. I told you what we gotta do. Right? I understand. Yeah. I, but you know when you stand up, it comes out a little bit more faster. I'm just asking, okay, can I go right there? there? They're just gonna ask you for your name yet. Okay, okay. I don't mind. I just wanna be, I'm on my period. Like, come on. Let her come and talk to her. Answer her question. Oh, oh, I don't know. I just said the You You know what? She seen me. She, she, she. Hush, no more talking. She seen me. Listen to the start. Good morning, Kai. She's seen me with him. That's what I'm trying to tell you. She's seen me with him a few months ago. 
Tempest fue acusada de agredir a un agente de la ley, resistencia al arresto, insinuación, poner en peligro el bienestar de una niña y varias infracciones de tránsito. La mujer tomó algunas decisiones terribles a lo largo de este incidente, pero en nuestro siguiente caso el alcohol juega un papel importante. Cali Merola nuestro próximo caso comienza el 2 de febrero de 2022. La policía fue llamada para asistir a un interrogatorio de intercambio rutinario. La policía fue llamada para asistir a un intercambio rutinario de custodia de menores que se había vuelto amargo. El padre de los niños descubrió a su ex esposa Cali Merola que estaba bajo los efectos del alcohol. Ante una decisión difícil decidió no entregarle a su hija temiendo por la seguridad de la niña. Cali, a quien se la puede describir mejor como una Karen, no tomó con agrado esta decisión y arremetió. Cuando llegó la policía encontraron un caos absoluto ya que Cali intentó atacar al padre. La policía realizó un arresto de inmediato. Cali no deja de gritar y causar una escena. La policía tiene que arrastrarla hasta su vehículo y ella se hace la víctima, pero su estado de ebriedad está afectando su propia toma de decisiones. Una vez que Cali está asegurada, la policía habla con el padre que está muy emocionado y expone su caso. El padre también tiene testigos oculares que respaldan sus afirmaciones y la policía parece estar de acuerdo en que solo estaba tratando de hacer lo correcto. Okay, 
Okay. And she started punching in face. Yes. Uh, closed fist, open fist. All kinds. I mean, like I mean, she's punching. Look at this. I don't bruise easily. I work security at a bar. Yeah. Not bruise easily. Right. Do you have an idea on you, sir? Yeah. Okay. All right. Who's that in that? Uh, they were just here. Okay, you were just were here. Yeah, my, okay. Uh, my fiance is in the. Uh, my fiance is in the car. Okay. Yes. That's my ex-wife. That's your ex-wife. Okay. And that's your daughter. How old's your daughter? Almost two years old. Almost two years old. She saw the whole thing. My daughter? Yeah. Did your daughter? Did your daughter? She's my daughter. Was in my hands. Yes. Your daughter was in your hands yes, while you were hitting. She was, she was hitting me. I didn't hit her. No, no. Yes. I'm sorry. That's what I meant. She. I have my daughter in my hand. I grabbed her back from her. Did it? And she was hitting me because I said you're drunk. You're not getting her back. I didn't do it. I swear, not even. I'm not saying you did. Okay. She got videos. You hit me, dude. There's security cameras. I, that's on why I'm here. here. You have a, you have a pretty great, yeah. good bruise. So I'm gonna end up taking pictures of that. Oh no! I don't know how I'm gonna get this. What the hell? When she started doing that, your daughter's in there. Okay. She got my hand. She got a video and everything, man. My daughter's seeing this. El viaje a la cárcel es largo y Cali argumenta completamente que es inocente. Ya ha agredido físicamente a los policías, pero ahora también los está reprendiendo verbalmente. I'm gonna get logged in real quick. I'll jump on the call and then I'll take care of the statements and stuff. All right. But before I do that, if you want to give me the lowdown on what the hell is going on right now, so I walked out there yeah. and she was yelling and screaming. Bracer and I walked up to her. She started kind of going after Bracer. Uh -huh. um, Bracer grabbed her. I got on. We took her down and then she started kicking me and trying to kick around. And okay. So, so we don't know. I don't know what. Why happened. was she here? I don't know. Because I'm my daughter's assistant. And my it's baby daddy is under the thing thinking about you. Walk away, because I swear to God, my attorney, bro, I don't think you know who my mom is. What's his name? What's his name? Austin McDowell. Austin McDowell, because I'm telling you, he's on him with negotiation. You think my mom ain't got no money? I'll put this whole pursuit on her over. What's, what's your name that you got me under? What's your name? Um, my name is Officer Paul. And what's the one in the pursuit? I don't know. Yeah. I promise you on everything I love, I guess, I guarantee motherfucking love, y'all will write If you don't settle down, I'm going to have to roll No, forward. I guarantee you got okay. it. Okay, don't roll through now. I guarantee you got it. I suggest you switch right now. Because my mom's got all the money in the suit. And this is what? Port Orange Police Dog Department? Yup. And my baby daddy's the one selling steroids to a Port Orange. Y'all better pursue, Because I got pictures of the she pursues too. I guarantee y'all better pursue, bro. Yup. Yeah, I might pursue right now. I don't think you understand how much money my mom has. Okay. I'll f me up. He better come into this one. I don't give a f y'all got handcuffs through you. Y'all better All pursue because right. I'll, I'll be in here right now. Yeah. We came yep. out, we saw yep. her. Yeah! Y'all see. Y'all see. I don't give a f about no charges. Daniel, come All right. me out. Yup. Alright, can Cali fue acusada de agresión, resistirse al arresto con violencia y agresión a un agente de la ley. La mujer cometió varios errores a lo largo de este caso, pero el padre en el siguiente incidente comete un error grave que lo persigue. Raúl nuestro próximo caso comienza el 11 de mayo de 2024. Los oficiales fueron llamados a un estacionamiento después de que un ciudadano preocupado encontrara un bebé encerrado en la parte trasera de un vehículo en un día caluroso. El niño sudaba profusamente, se había puesto rojo y estaba en grave peligro. Los buenos samaritanos habían intervenido e hicieron lo que pudieron y los servicios de emergencia revisaron al niño. Pero cuando los oficiales comenzaron a investigar el todoterreno, el padre llegó al lugar. Raúl se había olvidado sus responsabilidades y se había ido de compras. Así es como reaccionaron los oficiales ante su paternidad ilegal. Okay. Do you know what he? Do you know what he's wearing? Do you have clothes? What he? It's okay. What's what? what? You have to sip. Have a sip. It's okay. Just breathe. Just breathe. I'm fine. 
Just breathe. Blow your nose. Do you, know, do you know you know puppy's name? Her cheeks is not as red as they were. What's what's daddy's name? Uh, she was in this car. Where's puppy's name? Yeah, well, uh, she was in this car with the window. Yeah, I'm sorry. Sorry. No. Sweetie. Come with me. Don't live a bug. Yeah, it's okay. No, we found her. No. It's okay. No, yeah. Yeah, it's all see. Pup puppy went inside there. Inside there. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh my God. No, no, it's okay. It's okay. So, huh. can we can we go sit down? No. What, what do you guys What do you guys think you want to do? You want to check it out? Okay. Come on. Okay. She's excited. Oh. Yeah. Okay. 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 Are you able to check the cameras and see? I have yeah, someone have. doing it. Oh, they're doing it already for Yeah, she said she's going to call me back. I don't want to lie. I don't want to announce them yet. I want to see while they're checking around how long it's going to take the food to come out here. Okay. This girl will be gone by now. What, uh, which car are you going to hire for what? Ten minutes? No, which car was she in? The red one. The red one? Yeah. El padre llega apurado, supuestamente preocupado por su hija. Está confundido sobre dónde la han llevado y pretende demostrar que le importa sentándose con ella en el vehículo de emergencia. Un testigo presencial confirma el desarrollo de los hechos. Hey, hold, hold, stop. Stop. My baby, my baby. She's fine. Why did you leave her in the car? Why did you... Come here. Why, why did you leave her in the car? Hey, it's funny. Hey, one, one, two. Yeah, 10-12, I believe. Hey. You're gonna need someone to translate for me in Spanish. Sure, it's not a request. Do it. Do it. Okay. 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 Thank you guys for helping her out. So what happened this afternoon? So we pulled into this parking spot, and when we pulled in, the car alarm was going off, but then it stopped. And so naturally that made Tajay look over and he seemed like a head moving. Initially I was like, oh, it's a dog. Yeah. And he was like, no, that's a kid. So I, I got out of the car and I peeked my head in there, made sure that nobody else was in there. And it was a kid. And so he got out and went in to the, I don't know, the, the store, like the cart lady. I'm not okay. sure who it was. I stayed with the kid and I was talking to her through the car because I didn't want to just open the car door until yeah. there was people around. I was like, are you okay? And she was saying no. She was crying, and I was like, do you want me to open the door? And she said yes. So I called Tajay, and then he was walking out with the girl, and then once Tajay and the girl from Sam's Club were here, I opened the door, I picked her up out of the car. She was very flush. She looked like she'd been in there for a while. Okay. Bawling her eyes out. She didn't speak English. All she could really say was Papa. So okay. it was hard to understand or get her, but they then called inside, were looking for him, and I stayed out here with her and gave her my water and... Okay. La madre de la niña finalmente llegó después de ser llamada y se le dio la custodia de la niña. Ella está conmocionada por lo que escucha y se siente aliviada de reunirse con la niña. Sin embargo, el padre de la niña que intenta explicar sus acciones y afirma que su hija significa todo para él, no podrá salir de la cárcel solo con palabras. Um, now I am. Okay. Eh, ¿Su esposo o el padre yeah. de, de su niño? Yeah. ¿O niña? ¿Es una girl? girl? Yo acabo de llegar. Sí. Eh, estaba dentro de, de, de Sam's Club. Y la niña dentro, y la niña dentro del carro. Parece a lo mejor se lo olvidó. No sé qué es lo. Si él a lo, a lo mejor está se pasando lo algo. No, no, se lo tiene que haber olvidado. O sea, y. y... Él, él siempre viene con la niña y la niña no le pasa nada. ¿The girl's okay? She's okay. Está bien la niña. ¿Puedo verla? ¿Puedo verla? ¿Puedo verla? ¿Puedo verla? ¿Puedo verla? Ask mom if she feels more comfortable if she gets checked out by a doctor. It's been 30 minutes. Okay. Eh, ¿Cómo se llama usted? ¿Usted se sentiría mejor si, si la llevan a, al hospital para que un doctor la vea? I don't know. ¿Sí? ¿Lo 
¿Dónde está su carro? Tengo un amigo que lo trajo. ¿Y el carro tuyo? Está aquí, mi amigo. Mi mamá fue Vamos acá. Sí, 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 tráigala. Eh, él quiere saber qué pasó desde el comienzo. No, yo, yo llegué y me fui a un cuarto coche de él, pero ya, la bajé y no la dejé intencionalmente, ¿me entiendes? Cuando me doy cuenta, he ido corriendo, he pasado 15 minutos corriendo con la niña. ¿Me entiendes? No, no fue, fue una cosa como eres, es un error humano, no. No, yo la dejé por, ¿no te acuerdas como que ahora llegaste? No, jefe, no, no. no. Yo estoy ahora mismo en un... Ok. Eh, no pasó mucho por entrar, no. Entonces tú llegaste aquí, saliste del carro, se te olvidó que la niña estaba en el carro, entraste a Sam's Club, hiciste lo que hiciste adentro. ¿Y qué pasó? ¿Alguien te vino a buscar? No, yo salí, me, yo me salí corriendo. La niña, pensé, pensé ya, eh, ¿Cuánto tiempo pasó cuando te fijaste? No sé si le jefe. ¿No sabes? 15 minutos. 15 minutos. Eh, eh, reacciono más o menos, digo, ay, la niña, yo vengo corriendo. Ajá. Y ahí no sé, no, no la veo en el carro, no la siento ni me pensé, ya. Oficial, vaya como padre, si usted es padre, yo. Yo no sé. Estoy soy. contento, bueno, que un día será, o sobrino, que la niña está bien, eso. Es una cosa, es un pedazo tuyo y vaya, me, me siento más mal yo, pues no. No sé, vamos a explicarle. Yeah. Yo no tengo problema, no tengo un ticket, yo no tengo, no tengo nada. No, no yo no estoy, no. Sí, yo solo estoy aquí porque sí. él no habla español. Sí, sí. <risa> yo estoy sí. en una área completamente diferente, vine aquí corriendo ya para ahora ayudarlo. Esto me tienen... ¿Ah? Eso lo va a decidir él. Puedo explicarle, mira, mira la foto, mal baby. Eh, dice ser mi princesa, mi, mi, mi todo, mi, salí como un loco. Uh -huh. No fue, yo la dejé, ¿me entiendes? Yo dije, no, dos minutos, no, no. Yeah. Un error humano. Uh, basically, he said that he got here, he got out of the car, he went inside, you know, he, he did some shopping for, I don't know, he thinks maybe about 15 minutes before he realized, oh, damn, I got the girl in the car. Yeah. He ran back out. ¿Viste las luces de qué? ¿De policía o de la ambulancia? No, de la ambulancia. He said he came out, he, he was like running out, and he saw the ambulance lights. And... Okay, now we're good. Does he know where he last saw her? ¿Tú no estabas tomando hoy ni nada? No, no, no. ¿Tú estabas perdido? O sea, muchas cosas en tu cabeza. Me levanté. Me levanté cansado, me levanté y ya, eh, my baby. ¿Un error? No tengo excusa, eh, es un error. Yeah. Mi error lo reconozco, ¿me entiendes? No, yeah, yeah, yeah. no tengo excusa, no. La, la cerveza la estaba comprando ahora. Raúl fue acusado de negligencia infantil y dejar a una niña en un vehículo con motor. En este caso, el vehículo podría haber sido un factor definitivo en el bienestar de la niña. Y la mala gestión de un vehículo con motor también es parte de esta próxima crisis. Niño en el asiento trasero Este próximo caso comienza en marzo de 2023. Los oficiales que patrullaban notaron que un automóvil iba a exceso de velocidad alcanzando más de 110 millas por hora. La mujer que parecía estar ebria al volante conducía con su hija en el asiento trasero. No solo estaba conduciendo un vehículo de motor de manera irresponsable, sino que lo estaba haciendo poniendo en riesgo la vida de su hija. La policía la detiene y la confronta por su comportamiento y el hecho de que su hija ni siquiera usa el cinturón de seguridad. Esto es lo que sucede a continuación. Okay. 
All right, just wait right here. Hold on, I have to adjust my lights. All right, what what did, what uh what did you consume? Something. What did you consume? Um, vodka. Vodka? How much? Like one of the small bottles, like that big. Okay. Like probably maybe two of them. Two of them? Okay, but you said around about four? Like four, four thirty around there. Okay, and then you said you were coming from your, from where? La mujer revela que se ha sometido a una cirugía cerebral, por lo que el oficial debe tener cuidado con la prueba de sobriedad en el campo. Sin embargo, sigue adelante con las comprobaciones para ver si realmente es seguro que conduzca. I get it. You have your little one in the car. You want to get home safe, but obviously you're going 110 miles an hour on the interstate. So, yeah. All right. So stand right here. Face me. Have you had any recent head injuries? Oh, okay. When, when, when was that? Beginning of the year. Beginning of the year. What happened? Um, I had brain surgery. You had brain surgery? Oh, okay. All right. But are you under the care of a doctor right now? Um, I, the last time I was supposed to go the, was at the beginning of the month and I haven't gone. Well, November, beginning of November, but I didn't go. Oh, okay. All right. So, but as of right now, you're not seen. I'm okay. No, okay. I'm all right. Okay. As far as anything else, no, I'm okay. Okay. All right. So I just want to check your eyes, put you through a few tests just to make sure you're safe to drive. Okay. All right. So do me a favor. Just put your feet together. Hands to your side. Do you have any issues walking, turning, balancing? Um, not too much, I guess. Well, I'm cold right now, but no, I, I'm, I'm cold too. I'm, but it's December. It's gonna be a little cold, okay? But I mean, besides that, do you have any issues walking, turning, balancing on one leg of your choice? No. Okay. All right. So what I want you to do is just follow the tip of my finger with your eyes and your eyes only. Don't move your head, okay? okay. Understand? Do you understand? Yes. All right. Just right here, okay? Mm -hmm. Después de completar las pruebas, el oficial continúa entrevistando a la madre. Ella está tratando de pintar una imagen de responsabilidad de cuidado, pero él parece no poder superar las peligrosas decisiones. Decide que tiene que detenerla. Ok. Y luego... Y luego me quedé. Así que tengo que estar ahí. Ok. Y luego... ¿Dónde estás intentando llegar exactamente? To the, it's a house by Dal Taco on Central and Eubank. Okay, all right. So, all right, just face this way real quick. Okay, okay. Come right over here and face this way. All right, put your hands by your back. Are you resting me? Let me see your other hand. So at this point, you're going to be under arrest for DWI, okay? Can I possibly have my daughter? Yes, please? yes, of course. Do you have a cell phone in there? Yes. Okay. All right. Just look at me real quick. Lift up your tongue. Open your mouth. All right. Nothing in there? Okay. All right. So where's your phone at in the vehicle? Um, it should be in the middle or on my, on my seat. Okay, and someone's gonna be able to come pick up your daughter? Yes, in a timely matter? Someone that she's gonna be safe with? If I could call him and get a hold of him, yes. Okay, all right. Let's just come right over here. Yeah, I'll, I'll get your cell phone. No, maybe. Yeah, I'll get it. All right, so on my watch, 1231, okay? All right, just have a seat. I'll go talk to her. I know I know that your daughter doesn't want to see this, but I'll go talk with her. Don't do this. I'm not drunk. I swear okay, have a seat. You. Have a seat. La mujer fue llevada al coche de policía después de ver a su hija y se le ofrece una prueba química para demostrar su sobriedad y ella acepta. You have the right to a reasonable opportunity to arrange for a physician, a licensed nurse or laboratory technician or technologist who is employed by a hospital or physician of your own choice to perform an additional chemical test. The cost of this additional test will be paid by the law enforcement agency. Do you agree to take our test? I need a verbal yes or no. Yes. What? Yes. Okay. All right. So just hang tight. Chosa fue acusada de conducir bajo los efectos del alcohol, aunque intentó mostrar su amor por su hija. Y la última sospechosa claramente no tiene ningún sentido de culpa por lo que sucedió. Deciré Rodríguez y Jacob Santos.
Nuestro último caso comienza el 15 de septiembre de 2021. La policía fue llamada para investigar a Desiree Rodríguez y Jacob Santos después de que un testigo presencial hubiera presenciado como un niño de 3 años habría sido arrojado de su automóvil. Afortunadamente el niño estaba bien pero había grandes preguntas que debían responderse sobre cómo este niño había sido arrojado del automóvil en primer lugar. Además Desiree y Jacob siguieron conduciendo después del incidente demostrando que no les importaba su seguridad. Cuando llega la policía hablan instantáneamente con el testigo. De repente aparece la madre cambiando la dinámica por completo. Deciré Fringe que está dormida y que no sabía lo que había sucedido, pero su falta de responsabilidad real sorprende a la policía. Además, la policía descubre que el conductor, Jacob, ha estado fumando con cuatro niños en el asiento trasero. He's in the front seat of that car. How? He fell out your car. How he fell out my car? Copy tag for the parents just showed up. Matt, How did he fall you tell, out my car? You tell me that. Was he buckled in? I was in? sleeping. Where was your son at? I was sleeping. He was on this side. Who was driving? <laughs> my brother. He said he had... He, he said he heard the door open, but he didn't, he didn't think Ten like four, You want to come get him out of this man's car? Is he okay? He's okay. He's got a little cut on his finger. He's okay. When did y'all realize he wasn't in the car? Right now. Like, right now, we got him to the expressway, and my daughter was like, where's Poppy? Who didn't, why you? It's not, just don't, don't yell at him. He's, I know. You want to, you want to pick him up? He's scared. And his hand hurts, okay? Excuse me, sir. Carol just wanted it all the way, so I can... Do you have your, your ID? You don't have anything? Have y'all been smoking? Yeah, I've been smoking one joint. When? Like a couple of, like, couple of, like 20 minutes ago. 20 minutes ago? And you're driving? Yeah. Four kids in the back seat? I, I had a window down. You had your window down? Were you smoking in the car? Yeah, like one time. You were smoking in the car with them in the back? I had a window down there. Do you have any more weed in the car? No, no more weed. Were you driving? Yeah. Can we get your ID too? Say again? You don't have an ID? Locks on your doors? Are they... Oh, goodness. Where's everybody's car seats? They could wear a seatbelt, right? Um, well, you have this Nine, many four kids, seven. and that's only three seats. So how, how many do you seat... get four kids for three seats? With three seatbelts? They all fit there. It doesn't matter if they all fit there, how many seatbelts are there? Oh. There's three seatbelts. Yeah. Every juvenile needs to be in a seatbelt. So obviously oh. someone's not in a seatbelt if there's four kids. I mean, I just got this car. I used to have a big van, but I... So I you're saying, if I if, I if I just get this car, no, I want to sit three, four three, kids in the back seat, I'm going to make sure there's four seatbelts. I the have car. six kids. What do you... I, I know, I'll but the, the I understand that. But this is what I was doing. I understand, but... I didn't think that my son would ever do something like that. I know, but under state law, Every child needs to be in a seatbelt at least. I know at that. At a certain age. Like it is now. Child lock. Child lock's on now. Where are you guys coming from? I'm coming from Florida. Well, we were in Florida. Where are you, where are you coming from in Florida? I'm trying to get to South Carolina. Okay. What part of Florida are you guys coming from? Very far. We're okay. far, 
Sorry. Desiree se niega a reconocer su mala conducta y se hace la tonta cada vez que le pregunta a algún oficial. Para ellos está claro que no se puede confiar en ella para cuidar de los niños. Desde las drogas hasta su falta de licencia, hay razones más que suficientes para que los oficiales la arresten. With the children on there, and then also failure to for due cause to make sure that those children, since you're the driver, you're responsible to make sure that they're in car seats and they're in seat belts. And you basically drove off and let one fall out of the car. So you'd be, you'd be charged with child neglect. So I'm going to jail. Like I said, we, we're still doing an investigation. That's why we wanted to talk to you. Desiree fue acusada de negligencia a un menor y posesión de una sustancia controlada. Jacob fue acusado de negligencia hacia un menor, conducir un vehículo sin licencia, conducir sin registro, colocar una matrícula que no estaba asignada al vehículo y conducir a sabiendas de una licencia suspendida. 